Tippy Tama Dammies, Top Cat here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Throne World's Red Herring. For my initial craft, I wanted to kind of replicate the Royal Entry with the lasting impression impact casing. Who's a what's it? The Royal Entry was always a great rocket launcher, kind of best of its class. We've also tacked in tracking and volatile launch. So let's go take this for a spin in our favourite Lost Sector. Shoot this dicky head here. And we get a total value of 107. This season damage archetypes for rockets were changed. So the Royal Entry doesn't actually do as much damage as this. But I would still take the Royal Entry over it. As the entry only has 4k less damage and it comes with auto-loading. If we compare this to the Palmera, it is doing 110. So this is the best rocket launcher hands down. For other Void Rocket Winters, we also have Bad Omens, but of course we haven't used this in some time. Cluster really isn't that superlative anymore. Other options are the Tomorrow's Answer. I've only really used this in a couple of strikes like Proving Grounds, but that's only because I didn't have a Royal Entry at the time. I would still use this inside of Crucible. So if I'm not going to pick this roll over my Royal Entry or Palmyra B, what am I going to do with it? We would just change this utility. Rockets aren't just for pure DPS phases like Caretaker or Rolk. We can also use them for mass ad clear, ultra clear, things like this. So we're actually going to go with Golden Tricorn as we haven't really got to use this on a rocket launcher before. And we're going to go Ambitious Assassin with this. We change Impact Casing to Black Powder. And let's craft this sucker. Tricorn is the highest DPS buff we can get. Pair that with Ambitious Assassin and we got some Cocktail for Madness here. Shoot a rocket, now we got two rockets. Ability, and this sucker is obliterated. For a comparison with standard rockets, we would just shoot him again and watch he doesn't quite die. As Tricon will do an additional 50% damage. This makes for a very fun rocket launcher to use. I'll be using this in encounters going up to 1580, perhaps some GMs, but uh, not necessarily damage phases inside of raids or prophecies and dungeons and the things of the like. Anyway, that's what I've done. Leave a comment down below if you have another option. Always keen to see what people are doing. Tippy tie till next time. What a tie.